What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I don't usually cover glitches and weird things like that, but I'm in CS2. Of course, you can use this in competitive matches, but there's a brand new weird glitch to do with binds where if you bind movement keys to both movement and controller keys to push in different directions, I think that's how it works. You can essentially Michael Jackson peek. This is crazy. You can move and leave your feet behind. It's 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 bonkers. There's no way this is not going to be patched. But of course, if you'd like to try this out, this is super fresh. Only a few hours ago, people talked about how exactly you can do this. But if you'd like to try this out in competitive matches or anything like that, it's super simple. All you need to do is use the binds, which you'll find down below, paste them into your auto exec and run them. When you've done so, you won't really be able to tell that it's working. Looking down at least, I don't think. Yeah. But if you're a third person in a single player game with SV Cheats 1 or you're in a competitive game with other players, you can of course get them to confirm this. When you're holding a key, simply hold alt and you'll enter this sort of weird lean. It's very weird. But of course, this isn't going to be a thing for very long and forwards and backwards. It kind of works. It's mostly a 50 50 whether it does or it doesn't, but it's definitely going to throw off a lot of people. So when picking a corner, I'm just holding a and I'll just press alt as soon as I get to the corner and you can see I lean around it. It's crazy. Anyways, how do we do this? Well, first of all, either quit or just open your steam, right click CS2, manage and choose browse local files. Then inside of here, head into the game folder over here, then CSGO, followed by CFG, and inside of here, you'll find an autoexec.cfg file. If you don't have this, right click new and create a text document, then simply rename it autoexec.cfg, but make sure that you see .txt so you can remove it as such. Then you can confirm it and confirm it again. If you don't see file extensions on Windows 11, click view followed by show and make sure file them extensions and hidden items are ticked. Otherwise on Windows 10, on the ribbon bar at the very top, you'll find a view tab and on the far right, file name extensions and hidden items. Anyways, with our file renamed and the file type changed to autoexec.config or anything along those lines, we can open it up with a text editor. And inside of here, I've got by commands, but this is the section which you'll find linked down below. All of these Michael Jackson variables. Essentially, we're binding was as well as alt to toggle whether this has happened or not. Then through some weird movement things, forward back is how you move forward and backwards on a controller. Right left is the same as well. I assume it just moves around the sticks or at least digitally while you're moving in certain directions or something along those lines. But anyways, with this specific way of setting things up, you could probably do it manually with a controller, but it must be a lot easier using a config. Anyways, once you've pasted in this bit of text into the auto exec file, save it and close it. Then in Steam, right click CS2, click properties and scrolling down, make sure you have plus exec space auto exec dot CFG here with spaces before and after it if there are other commands here. Once you've added that, you can fire up the game itself, then play followed by let's go to practice deathmatch for now, just so I can show you how I saw exactly what I saw. And once we're in game, pick a team, open console using tilde and type in SV underscore cheats space one, just to enable cheats on the server. This is purely just so I can type third person, one word, hit enter and see myself in third person. So I'm approaching a corner, I can move as usual, A and D, but if I hold alt, I'll start leaning it's pretty much as soon as I hold alt. It seems that when you're moving and you're holding alt, it doesn't work as good. You need to tap alt whenever you change directions or you're wanting to peek a corner. So whenever you're holding a new key, it'll usually need a tap of alt in order to activate this weird leaning mode. Also, for some reason, using crouch seems to negate this completely. But anyways, that's how you do the Michael Jackson peek in CS2. Obviously, this isn't going to be a thing for very long, but if you'd like to use it, now is definitely the time. And of course, you can use it in competitive matches too, but do so completely at your own risk. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.